In this video, we're gonna be talking about division and multiplication, how those are in the same fact family if they have the same three numbers. Now we've seen fact families with addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction are what we call inverse operations. They're related, but they're opposite. It's the same with multiplication and division. They're inverse operations. They're the same, but opposite. So we can do our same triangles that we used with addition and subtraction. Our total is what multiplication gets to. The total is what division starts with. So when we have our big number, our total, we can start filling in our fact families. 18 is my total. Multiplication gets to the total. Division starts with the total. Now, for multiplication, you can switch your factors around. That's called the commutative property of multiplication. So I know that six and three are my small numbers that can get to 18. I can do six times three and three times six. But for, for division, you cannot switch these two around. You can switch your quotient and your divisor because the groups and the amount in each group can be changed, but you still have to start with that total when you're dividing. So you can split 18 into six groups with three in each, or you can split 18 into three groups with six in each group. So here we have our first fact family filled out. Let's look at another one. 15 is my big number, and I know that multiplication gets to the big number, division starts with the total. So let's write our total for multiplication as the answer, and our total in division as our dividend. Now, I'm gonna take my two smaller numbers. Five times three can get me 15, or three times five can get me 15. I can split 15 into five groups with three in each, or I can split 15 into three groups that have five in each group. 